Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Deontay, aka Dot Friday 7, back in another video. Uh Plants of Finite Champion doing the bare knuckle mode. Uh this this was DLC for the game, I believe. Actually, yeah, it was four bucks on on Xbox and PlayStation. But uh, it get, it gets bloody. This is gonna be a bloody fight. Playing as Manny Pacquiao, the Pac-Man against Miguel Cotto. Ooh, counting in there. Cotto's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp. There, landing a crisp combination. I, I believe I'm playing on pro difficulty, which is the default difficulty. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Manny Pacquiao. And now he's targeting upstairs. Pacquiao's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Cotto's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Someone's cut open. It's either me or him. There's an excellent combination by Miguel Cotto. He's rocked here. And he's clinching. Yeah, he's cut open. It's him. He's clinching right now. Trying to get out of this. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, the AI in the fighting games are always smart. If they were rocked, they would like clinch off on news. He couldn't, you know. It's above the eye, so it's going down. It's impairing the vision. So that's going to get the referee's attention, and he's going to eventually bring the doctor up into the corner. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Cracked me that good uppercut. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Miguel Cotto. That's in round one. Okay, so I'm cut open too, but not as bad. My aisle my, is almost full shut, so that's not good. But we we got a bit of damage. 76 damage. He's got 90, so this fight could end by a cut. I don't want that to happen, so the fight ends by a stoppage, and I'll just do a second fight. Let's see how let's see how Miguel. Oh, okay, he's not looking too good at all. Cotto's bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round, coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Very accurate two punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <laughs> Hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Pacquiao's gotta deal with a cut sheet. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're controlling there, you can make oh, it. Oh, look at that combination right there. That was a nice combination. Miguel Cotto has overcome trouble before. Now he'll have to because it's very nice, but you actually do headbutts and illegal moves, but we're not going to do that. Okoto has a problem now. He's got to stop the offense of his opponent, but he's got to throw something back just so the ref doesn't do what you said. Zoning in with the overhand left. Pacquiao's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's got to be really careful here, Teddy. That eye has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, he can't see. And there we go. We kept hitting him with hooks on the way down. He's gonna get up or now? I don't think he is. Oh no, he got up. Okay. Thrilled with this, he gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Manny Pacquiao is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. He's soon to look at it himself. Unable to connect by Miguel Cotto. Pacquiao's now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times, and that is. 
How do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage? Look at that cut around the eye. So for a fighter to be able to move to the top, we've reopened the cut. In a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first. We're just going out swinging. One of us is going to go down. The other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut when you see your first blood. When you see it, that it's your blood. How do you behave? We're going to find out right now. Showing you that solid shot. Did you see oh, we sent them flying with that one. I was just swinging wildly, but we, we sent them flying with that one. We hit them behind the back of the head. We sent them flying. I don't think he's getting up. Nope, he's up just fine. He, he's ready to go. Combo straight there. Yep, fight's over by the cut. The cut was too bad, the ref had to stop the fight. Alright, so up the difficulty, and uh, now in the light heavyweight division, we're using Roy Jones Jr. versus Joe Calzaghe. I can already tell, like in champion, difficult they're going to be doing more technical boxing, going for the body. One thing I like about the Fight Night um games, like the the, the, the CPU and like the AI, they they can adapt to what you're doing. Like they can adapt to your game plan and stop you from doing it. That's what I kind of like that. Well upstairs with the right hand. Calzaghi's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye. Yeah, he's up striking us right now. Yeah, we're rocked. Okay. We just got him open too. I think he will. This is becoming like a crime scene here. Joe Calzaghi's DNA is splattered throughout. But I think we're cut open too because I can see some blood blown his on his hand wrap. So. He gets a little discouraged. He gets a little down, but. Maybe his opponent, who's a big baby, maybe he gets a little careless now going in there for the kill. And maybe that could be an opportunity for him. Well, Teddy, you can see quite clearly that that cut is becoming a major problem for him. What does he have to do strategically here to deal with it? Well, there's three lines of defense, Joe, whether you're cut or you're not cut. One is use your legs. Get out of range a little bit. The others move your He's head. He's this right now. He has to pick I think it's a bruise on his on the side of his body. One of those choices and put it into place. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well placed right hand. Just ten seconds. Oh, I thought we got him there. We could go down here. We're in the corner. Oh, we saved by the bell. We were saved by the bell. I thought we were about to go down there because we were trapped in the corner. Okay. I hope that he's read some history books. Boy, watch the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yeah. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Jones's combination punching is working well here. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Calzaghe. Heck of a power punch by Joe Calzaghe. Another huge okay. shot comes in early. We need to like try to go for counter punches. Well, he understood that his opponent Joe was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Jones is left landing well. For the well-being of their fighter, his corner may need to stop this fight. 
Yeah, the well-being of now and tomorrow, because this is the kind of beating that's going to impact him tomorrow, take his confidence away. Maybe never oh, we're rock here. Nope, 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 okay. At the right time. Good job on the two-punch combo by Roy Jones. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Jones is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. There's that overhand right. Joe Calzaghe's absorbing a hook. And that's the end of round two. Oh, he is looking bad. He is looking messed up right a now. Okay. Look at the party. Uh, okay, how are we looking right now? Because it says 83% damage. Okay, not too, too bad. Not as bad as he, not, not bad, bad compared to Joe Calzaghe. So we're doing more damage. That's, that's good. We haven't got. I, I, haven't able to, I haven't been able to rock him or, or knock him down yet, but you know we're it's getting there. Just got only one good strike, and then we're and then we're gonna get a knockdown here. Either I'm go. I was gonna say either I'm go, I'm going down or he's going down. Yep. Okay, I went down first. And it's been long overdue. He's been leaving an opening all night. Jones goes down and is beating the count from the referee. Teddy, what should we be looking for here? For a way to survive. Now, we've talked about how technically Jones does a lot of things wrong. There better be one thing he does right, and that's tie up. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. A big hook to the head by Joe Calzaghe. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And just grabbing on to his... Let's up right here. Unable to score with the hook. Fires right back at him. Jones is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Little head hunting never hurt. He is destroying us. I guarantee you on the on the scorecard we're losing. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. in this round up top with a quick hook and that's yeah I guarantee we're not winning this fight oh it's tied okay cool it's tied so we lost that round yeah he scored a knockdown obviously he knows that he got that extra point there and more importantly he knows for the future he can hurt the guy Teddy, he's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. He got me one shot. One shot knockout. Okay. Okay, there we go. Jones is showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Great I believe I've, I do have three knockdown rule on, so we get knocked out again. I think I think we lose this fight. That could be a real problem. People don't realize it, but that could be a big, big problem. Roy Jones Jr. has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled and was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow. I think we're going to go down here. And he got caught the right yeah, he got us. Big shot he just scored with. You never saw okay, yeah, I think we might have lost this fight. Roy Jones Jr. He got clipped with a power shot and couldn't withstand it. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna have to put it back on pro difficulty. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Nice uppercut from Roy. Again to the melon. Roy Jones Jr. with a huge left. It's over. The fight is over. All we won? What? Bro, we got so lucky. That is so unbelievably lucky. We won that fight through the doctor stoppage. That's two fights. That's two fights where and then by doctor stoppage, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, comment down below if you want more to find that champion. I will gladly play it. Uh, add me on PlayStation or Xbox. Doc Friday 97 Instagram, same thing. Uh, and if Check my story once in a while because I'm going to do more votes and stuff like that for videos you want to see. So, uh, yeah, guys, I enjoyed playing this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know. Yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.